Hello, welcome to Combative Wing Chun. I'm Sifu David. Welcome to Wing Chun Dummy Training Techniques, also called Mok Yang Zhong in Chinese. In this video series, you're going to see 116 Wing Chun Wooden Dummy Training Techniques, 116 moves from Yip Man's Wooden Dummy Form. I'm going to show you each move step by step with the action cam so you have the best way to learn the Wing Chun form at home. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single lesson in this series. Here we go. Alright, here's where it gets really interesting. So, application number 8 is the Gan Dao Sao, right? Into the, uh, this one again. So, uh, we were in the wooden dummy, we ended up um, here, and then now we go here, and then we do the Kap Sao, Kap Sao Dao Sao, right? So, we, number uh, 8, 9, 8, 9, right? So. Now, what you use this for is you don't, this is people think, okay, I can do this. Here's my Gan Zang Sao. Here's my Kap Sao, which is okay. This worked for two. But why would I want to go back into the middle when I'm going to beat this punch? I want to stay on the other side. So if I'm here, why not I just go Gan Zang Sao and then stay on the other side like that. So I think the wooden dummy form in this is teaching us what to do if we do the Gan Sao on the wrong side. So, what I mean by that is here. Okay, I Gan Zang Sao on the wrong side, on the inside. The next punch is coming this way, which I don't want to meet. Okay, so whenever you have this thing on the inside, he's on the inside, I'm on the inside, the Wing Chun, the dummy form is teaching us to do a Kap Sao, to go good back on the outside. So you Gan Sao on the wrong side, Immediately, you need to cup cell and come back on the outside. So we here, uh, gan zam cell, gan zam cell, and then we have our cup cell, zam cell. It's a cup cell, zam cell. Okay. So basically, I'm meeting it on the wrong side. I need to cup cell and zam cell, and then we have this here as an attack. Okay. So I need to do that. That's because I did it on the wrong side. I have to recover to get back on the outside. So this, when you do a cup cell, it can be a low hit, or it can be a high one. In the dummy form, it's actually a jam cell, right? Um, so that's when you're doing it high. I need to do that and recover back on the outside. Now, also what happens is we can do it low too. So let's say that I did the bong, low bong cell, like this, okay? So remember, he did this one, and then did this, but you can also do it this way. You can put punching low. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh good. He's punching low, and I gan cell here. So the same motion, I'm doing a cup cell and punching this way. Okay. So now I want to get. I don't want to stay here because this hand is here. So I do a cup cell, and now I'm on the outside again. So either it's high, boom, right, or it comes in low. Now I block with the bong, uh, the bong cell, and then I move it back on the outside. So at this angle, it's kind. Of, let's say hitting high, boom. I'm open here, so I want, I need to recover. Okay, or if it's low, boom. I'm open here, so I need to recover, so I go. Okay, so that's what the technique number uh, eight and nine is teaching us how to do. Is what if you gone or you bong on the inside, how to get back out on the outside and get a better position. So here's the final move in the first section of the wind dummy sword form in the advanced wind dummy 616 move form. It is the zat sao and the jing zhe. So zat sao and jing zhe. Okay. So how to use it is uh, we ended up with the cup sao and then the gan sao, right? So um, the next logical attack would be to zat sao, pull it down, and then attack. Okay. So it's very good because this pulls them into your attack. So it doubles the power. If I was just gonna push out, that's one force, what's one trajectory of power. If I pull in, that's another tra trajectory of power, another line of force. If I add those two lines of force, it adds the power of both of them together. Okay, and also kind of gives them a little shock. Okay, okay? that's what they call it just out. Okay, also 
destroys its balance. Okay, so that's why it, from here, the logical thing is to set sell and to hit. Okay, because that's the fastest movement from here. That's all to hit. Okay, so uh, let's say that he he punches straight. I did the wrong side, right? I did a uh, number nine, and then logically the next step would be set sell and and attack. So in the in the form, this is a straight palm, but you can alternate with anything you want. It could be a punch, it could be a spear, right? It could be a town zone, right? All those work. Okay? But the, um, the point here is that after this one, after this one, you have your hand on his arms like this. Okay? The next, pop, next logical thing is to pull it down and to punch the palm. Okay, so that is the step number 10, application. All right, so those are the first 10 moves in Yip Man's Wing Chun 116 move form. And we showed you the applications of how to recover when you're in the bad position uh, and, and interpreting what that Wing Chun wooden dummy form is for. So I hope you enjoyed these lessons. If you like this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, tell your friends, share it with your friends. So until next time, this is Steve with David. Train hard and train safe.